APC frets over Peter B's growing support, the former presidential spokesman Ruben Abati says. A popular journalist and former spokesman to the former president Jonathan, Ruben Abati has taken to his post on his verified Twitter handle where he said that the ruling All Progressive Congress APC seems to be highly disturbed by the growing support for the ambition for the former of the former governor of Anambra State and presidential candidate for the Labour Party, Peter Obi. It is surprisingly becoming evident that Nigerians, especially the youths, put more interest in participating in partisan politics in the era we are than ever before. Meanwhile, they have many have been clamoring for a better governance and that Nigeria should not be seen as a bipartisan political system. Not only that, since 1999, when the country was geared towards achieving a smooth progressive democracy, PDP and APC have been the older of have been the holder of power. Um yeah, I mean it's it's really is I mean again, at least we have it officially that both parties because with the PDP Obaski did come out in you know in an actual speech. He was talking about how much the support of Labour Party is increasing, people are voting and that it needs to be curbed. The the exact word he used is curbed. So it's a thing, well, okay, fine. We have official statements from supporters or like members of these political parties. And in a way it could be a tactic for them to um place Tinubu as like an underdog and then before you know it they'll attack. I think I'm just thinking of all possible outcomes. I think we should get excited, we should get hopeful, we should get proactive because of an outcome that we want. I understand that. However, we still have to understand that it's pretty much you cannot rule out every other possibility or undermine or yeah, basically undermine or kick out another candidate just because you think they don't have the support or because like listen, people this is this is politics. Anything can happen. So it's a thing where yes, be excited about your supporter, I mean your candidate and support them. But it doesn't mean because when you place so much on one outcome only, you literally give you put yourself in a position where you are chased. And it's easier to chase than remain in top position. So don't because I feel like we should not play ourselves by placing other candidates as underdogs because they would chase. And this campaign season is the time they would do that. But we will see what happens. I'm just saying we've taken too many risks as Nigerians. And I think we need to refer back to the times where we've tried to lead a movement or even election time when we have so much um energy and all that but we're less proactive but i think right now because we are more proactive it even builds more the motivation in us we're like you know what we can do this and we've proven that with the registration of voter cards i mean that is just a big 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 step in the right direction in my personal opinion um so yeah the comments uh first one says though tribe and tongue may differ in prosperous nigeria we stand oh yeah that's a line from the old national anthem Oga, those grown support you see is from the Yahoo scam youth. They don't vote. They can't stand in the sun for too long on the day of election. Most of the youth will come voting for accreditation in the morning and fail to come for the real voting in the afternoon. Igbo man know the vote at all. They cherish their career shops than voting. Oh, my day as well. What a comment. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, we also have to make the voting process even easier as well. I mean, for the fact that Again, Nigerians are going to have to do the work of being behind. <laughs> what can you do? I was literally about to say, you know, it's it's we should also make the voting system a bit easier for us. But again, you know, we want to get to the first world countries. At the end of the day, say what you want about these top countries that you say are first world and they've they've got a working system. It didn't just start today. They have done the groundwork. Call them corrupt. Call them what you want. But we cannot skip doing the work. So if we're going to have to pay for our losses and pay for the fact that we're behind by actually going to these centers and going through the rigorous process of voting, we're going to have to do it. Why? Because this is what should have done, should have been done in the 1990s, 1999. Like, this is what should have been done at that time. I mean, yes, maybe yes, it was, but it should have ended there, not have continued to, what, 20 years later. That is, that is very bad.
So it's a thing where we will have to pay for for our, for our losses. We have to pay for the fact that we're behind, you know. And it's just the reality. Deal with it and let's work upwards. That's the only thing we can do. So yeah, I think, you know, this underestimation of the youth is it's, it's a big problem. And I think as much as, yes, the youth have a lot of energy, why some people can have an argument against the youth, which may hold some weight, is because in past movements, we have just massively charged up so much energy and it's just been drained to the ground. Nothing has been done. But now it's different. Why? Because we are proactive. And again, faith without works is dead. The more we work towards an outcome and we actually take action, the more belief and faith we have in what we are going to achieve. Or even if we don't achieve it, we know we've worked for it. Because it's, it's so, so disheartening for us to have such a very strong movement and then it just dies off. That habit has been built over the years. And so we are going to have to break that if we really want to achieve um the better nigeria the better governance that we want you people said obi and his labor party exist only on social media you guys should be coming down it is going to be a social reality it is very true again for the campaigns we will see i mean again this is what nigeria's the youth's strongest point in going out and charging up energy that is all what campaigns are about so this is where we need to put into practice you know our energy and our support the real work comes when it's time to vote everyone gets out and vote i mean voting yeah that's going to be a very big very very big event i, I can literally see and yeah nigerians are really strong on the outcome that they want and if it doesn't seem to go their way eh, problems but we, when we get there we'll see let's take each stage of the election uh, the electoral process step by step so now campaign time we will now see the structure that everyone has been complaining and saying, oh, Peter, we doesn't have. We will see. We will see how it works. Because now, even in the North, the youth are willing to sleep in a mosque just because of, you know, um, a support event for Peter B. And they've traveled from different states. So we will see what actually happens. Um, Abati has lost its relevance a long time ago. Okay. Um, someone says, thank God I have my my passport uh, my pvc i mean um tinibu and atiku will vote will be amen well we will see about that i don't wait are press are they allowed to vote for themselves i mean are they even allowed to vote in general for like you never know that i don't even know put that in the comment section if you do um the way apc and pdp are desperate about this our presidency right from their primaries with a massive sharing of dollars to delegates <laughs> Who never represented Nigerians but their stomach. God can rescue us or only God can rescue us from the mouth through divine mystery. That is true. And I think it's very shameful. I mean, again, it's like Pitobi has not even spent. <laughs> he has not even spent how much they have. I mean, they have probably budgeted a stupidly crazy amount for this campaign, for the whole electoral process. And to think that this person is gaining so much support and you know for a fact that they have not even spent up to 10% of what you have. Oof, that must be a big, big loss for you to swallow. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much it. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.